Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will build a dashboard by using all the concepts that we discussed earlier in our crash course. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So today we are building this dashboard. Here we will build KPIs and different type of charts and filters and then we use how to import the image and how to download the dashboard by using different method okay let's build the dashboard now so i'm using sample superstore dataset for this dashboard let's build our kpis first let's build sales first so let's drag sales and this is sales let let's format this first go to this properties number format and we need custom currencies we want in thousand if it is dollar okay and click on okay and let's add the text as well sales I'm using Tableau medium make it to 12 make it to 16 okay and then click on okay this is sales KPI let's let's create a sales KPI trend over the time okay so for this we need order date let's convert into months and let's check the sales now okay so we get the sales trend over the time okay this is sales trend okay okay and for these we are using reason as a filter click apply and click on ok and we are using order date as a filter ok we need years go to next select all and click on ok and we will use these filter for all the sheets so just go to sheet and all using this data source and same we do for order data as well okay so as you can see it it already applied to here as well okay let's create same thing for profit let's drag profit label and click on ok now let's do same thing for here as well fit and we will use same sample medium make it to 12 make it to 69 click on ok and let's create profit and KPI let's drag order date convert into months and let's drag profit okay and we get our profit kpi print okay 
let's check the total number of orders orders let's drag order id and go to measure and go for count okay so now we get total number of orders and let's do same formatting here as well orders apply same tableau medium change its size to 12 change its size to 16 and click on ok and do the same thing for order API print okay let's drag order date and make it to months and now drag order id and make it count okay. so we get the trend for order okay now let's create KPI for customer as well drag customer name into text and we need distinct customer so we have a total 800 distinct customers give the name to the shaped customer KPI and do the same formatting total customer change its size to 12 change its size to 16 and click on ok and create same trend for customer as well customer API trend. okay let's drag order date do the same process convert it into month drag customer name here and go for distant count okay now we get customer KPI trend okay so now we have created KPI sales profit total number of orders and total number of customers okay now let's create our charts as well different type of charts that we used in our dashboard so let's do it first we will create a map chart based on state so let's drag state and convert into map let's drag sales in color and go for its label okay so now we have created a map chart map chart with sales okay or what we can do is we can highlight it maximum or minimum value okay so as we can see california has highest highest sales and the state from the canada has lowest sales okay and let's do the formatting for total tip as well and so we need First we need state, then we need sales. Okay, and click on okay. So whenever we click on any field, it will get state name with sales. Okay. Or what we can do is we just need the data from 
us and then just click on okay okay now it's better we are getting data for only one country now let's find out category per category sales okay let's drag category and then sales okay let's rotate the bars and show its label decrease the little bit size of bar as well okay so now we have category with sales now let's create subcategory with sales okay let's drag subcategory let's drag sales rotate the bar and sort them in descending order okay So what we will do is rather than showing two different charts, we will add this chart into the tooltip of category. Okay. So how we can do it? Go to tooltip and insert go to sheet and insert subcategory with sales. And then we will add category slash sales okay and then just click on okay so whenever we hover on this we will get how many categories for this technology okay giving these sales okay so let's adjust the width of this to get all subcategories let me make it to 600 and click on okay now it's look better okay So we have created KPIs, map chart, subcategory and category with sales. Now we will find out top 5 customer with sales. Okay. For this let's drag customer and let's drag sales, add customer into filter, go to top, by field and select Top 5 and click on OK. Let's sort this in descending order. Show its label and add it its tooltip. And just click on OK. So we get our top 5 customer with sales. OK. Of five customer with sales. Now we will find out top five product with sales. Okay, for this, let's drag product name and add all members. Let's drag profit and drag product name into the filter as well go to top select here from 5 and click on ok and sort this in descending order sort the values and go to tooltip format the tooltip and click on ok so rather than using bar chart let's use another chart we will use premap now okay now you can see we have used premap for this and we have two five products with sales okay 
now we have created four kpis and one two three and four charts okay so let's create title as well so let's create a calculated field and title performance tracker okay give the name to the calculated field title okay so we are we will give the name performance tracker to our dashboard and just click on ok so now drag title to the text and make to the entire view so now we have built all the worksheet and KPI that is required to build a dashboard we will build the dashboard in the next video until then stay tuned